Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Happy new beginnings. Happy 2023. Happy seven. Universal year. We are now on the other side of the spectrum. I will you all are blessed. Feeling amazing. I will you've had a beautiful start to the year thus far. Uh, everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to take a little peeky peek and do a 2023 um, read, you know, see what's in our projected um, upcoming months, what's being projected in these upcoming months. Uh, see if we can have any uh, predictions. <laughs> um, I was picking up in the former reading. There was definitely love. Um, this could have been love from someone that you knew from your past, maybe a past life love, uh, someone that you are familiar with, someone you know uh, that could be returning. It doesn't have to be a karmic ex or someone that caused a lot of trauma. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be someone that you kind of uh, feel like you've missed an opportunity or maybe that was someone who felt that way about you. But I definitely was feeling the vibes of love um, in this seven universal year. I felt like there was new love that was going to be sparked um, in this year. I felt like you were going to start developing more profound um, connections with individuals, uh, with your soul tribe, your soul family, uh, whatever it is you're working on, I feel like you're just going to be um, meeting the right people. You know, you're going to be in the right places uh, in the right time, you know, so it's almost like that energy of, you know, divine timing and in divine order, these things will unfold. Uh, I absolutely feel you are deserving of these beautiful blessings, of the love connections you will be developing, of the, even the tight friendships and connect, connectivity uh, that you will find yourselves having with individuals. Um, I feel like in this, this dynamic or in this new um, cycle of life, uh, your relationships or your connections are going to be more meaningful, uh, but more importantly, they're going to be uh, reciprocal. They're going to be reciprocated. So it will be an exchange of equal give and take. It will be an exchange of you give and receive and vice versa. Uh, so there will be positive withdrawals and deposits into these connections. Not only will you be cultivating the connections, but I feel those that you will be coming into contact with will also be working hard to cultivate and plant seeds, positive seeds, um, to maintain, um, you know, the solidity, the you know, the solidarity of friendship, of union, of partnership, of an alliance. So, uh, beautiful energy I'm feeling coming in this seven universal year. Uh, on New Year's Eve, I saw a vehicle that was driving right in front of me. I saw 777 right in front of me. And so I knew that that was just confirmation that there is some sort of wish fulfillment that also will be coming in. There's going to be a stroke of luck. There's going to be some blessing, answered prayer, a miracle that unfolds for you all because this is a very powerful time, powerful uh, junction, I feel, in a lot of your lives. Uh, because you've done the work and as you've grown personally, spiritually, emotionally, um, more intelligent, uh, as you've come more into that alignment with your higher self, with your spirit team, even grounding yourself, connecting to Mother Gaia or building that connection to your angels, ancestors and spiritual parents, there's now this opening. There's almost like um, you're on the precipice of a brand new junction a brand new start um, and it's going to lead to a lot of success uh, is expansion I just really feel expansion in your future prosperity um, I'm really feeling like someone is is just waiting in the wind um, and in that divine timing they will just enter your lives. So there's a lot of beautiful energy I'm picking up on, which is why I wanted to do the reading because I was just feeling all of this energy and I was like, I got to get this message out. Um, welcome to any of you that may be new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear me incorporating music into the reading. And the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, on my video camera, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as 
what is coming out in the tarot cards. And it just all blends very beautifully together. That's the way I do things on my side of the planet. My spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if the message does not apply, then it is not for you. Do not try to force it to be your story. It could be for someone else. Um, the, the, the roles can also be reversal. So if I'm speaking of someone and you know that does not apply to you, but it is someone that you are, um, you know, that you have dealt with, that's in your energetic field, then you just switch your route. It's all about the switch your route. I don't know your personal stories. These are definitely, um, these are um, general readings. I'll say uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you, that was the divine timing for it to have done so. So, um, welcome to any one of you that may be new. As I said, uh, I will that my readings, the way that I um, do things on my side of the planet, I will that my energy, the vibration that I bring, it correlates with yours and you stay a while. If you do so wish to become a subscriber or become a member of the Soul Tribe Soul Family, I send you infinite love and light. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, if you are returning... <laughs> You already know what it is. Love is love is love. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope and will that each and every one of you had a beautiful entrance into this seven universal year. I will that you all have been enjoying your holy days, enjoying your family, just enjoying the time, um, you know, that special time. We don't get enough time to be with those we love, to be with the, the ones that we care so for uh care so deeply for so this is a special time of being able to really just you know nurture those relationships so i will that you all have had the opportunity to do that even if it's just like you know working with yourselves doing whatever you got to do to you know master your craft and and sharpen your sword or get yourselves prepared for what's to come in this new year i will you all are in a very sound mind body in space right now um and I'm, as i always do i send you infinite love and light so let's proceed with the read i'm going to do a sound bath today and then we're going to proceed with the read uh before we get into anything else i would like to do some house cleaning so i call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So we're going to use a chime just to get our little sound bath therapy in. This year I will be doing um, sound bath um, meditation videos. So I will utilize some instruments and give you about a good 30 minutes of a sound bath just using different instruments just to help get you grounded help to bring you into spiritual alignment and also just so that you could purge you know certain energy release cut yourselves free from anything that may be bolt you know boggling you down so look for that to come in this year so let's go ahead get a nice deep inhale three times exhale three times so that we could get our energy um, balanced and grounded ashe so let's go ahead inhale through your nasal passage three times exhale through your mouths three times and we shall proceed with the read ashe so let's go ahead nice deep inhale Again, inhale. Then exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale.
Mm, I love it. All right, so let's proceed with the chime. Shay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm gonna place that down there. So let's get our music on. Let's see what we got coming in. So it is eight on the clock, six and two is 233. So that's eight. If you saw that, January 2nd, 233. So that's eight. So I'm getting a sense of strength. I feel like you all have been learning some karmic lessons, which has brought you to a place where you are stronger, you are wiser. Um, we have, who is this? All right, this is Alicia Keys, Unthinkable. If you ask me, I'm ready. Um, so definitely maybe there is uh, someone that you could have walked away from. Maybe when you asked in the past or maybe when you were looking for something more, um, more solid or more um, serious with someone, maybe they weren't ready. Uh, so I get, you know, a sense of you walking away because you felt perhaps maybe emotionally unfulfilled or you felt emotionally bankrupt. I feel like whoever this person is, they could be rethinking things and now they're, you know, desiring to return. And maybe they're coming back saying, like, if you ask me, I'm ready. They're ready now for you. Uh, this could be someone that sees you as a wish fulfillment. This could be someone that you all could have been praying for. This could be someone praying for you. Maybe someone's up in their head regretting the fact that they did not, um, you know, take you up on that offer or they feel like they've missed some sort of opportunity because um, I'm getting like the eight of swords energy where someone's just kind of like self sabotage and overthinking things and not just going with the flow they're going against the grain they're going against you know that the flow and it's it's causing them some angst it's causing them some confusion or some frustration um, I definitely feel like this is someone that does want to come in and perhaps build that alliance, build, rebuild, you know, on a more solid foundation. Maybe they were deceiving themselves, uh, holding back. Um, but I'm also getting a sense of like, you know, uh, you know, someone wanting to take action now, getting the eight of wands. So there is someone that's like really, you know, perhaps trying to strategize, plan, prepare, um, some way to come back, some way to return, or maybe even some way to to regain your trust because maybe you uh, may lack trust for this person because you may have felt like there was some 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 games being played. But we shall see what uh, comes out. So we're gonna use the numerology deck. I can't. Oh wow! Look what flew out. We got eighty seven. So 87 came. I I just opened the box and it just came flying out of the box. So synchronicity. 87 reduces to 15, that's 6. 6 is associated with uh, the lover's card in traditional tarot. So this could be that person, like I said, that you know be, could be from the past, that could have shied away from perhaps taking you up on an offer to take things to that next level. Maybe they're starting to see things um, a little clearer now. Uh, they're having you know some, some sense of listening to their intuition or, or even being more discerning, you know, maybe they are uh, going to the beat of their own drum. Uh, maybe in the past they were listening to a lot of people. It had them confused, conflicted, or maybe it was just, you know, them self-sabotaging. Whatever the case may be, I feel like someone's getting some downloads. They could be having some sort of uh, synchronized events taking place. Maybe they're seeing the same numbers over and over and over. Maybe they're hearing the same song. They could be quite audience. Maybe they're having a, a dream. Uh, maybe they're just constantly thinking of you, thoughts of you. Uh, maybe there's a certain animal totem that you know, may visit them constantly. And when they look up the meaning, the spiritual meaning, um, it's kind of guiding them to you. Whatever the case may be, this is a bonus message. Some of you all could be experiencing synchronicities as well. 
um, seeing the same numbers over and over and over. Maybe you're seeing 888-777-666. Maybe some of you all are, um, you know, maybe just having, like I said, some sort of, um, you know, it may be something that's happening to you physically. Uh, Maybe you're having uh, a certain dull headache or maybe your ears are ringing or maybe your nose is itching or maybe your hands are tingling. Maybe your eye is twitching. Um, There could be some sort of synchronized event that's taking place. And I feel like spirit is telling you to trust your intuition um, because this may be a sign or an inkling that someone is coming towards you. Someone is approaching you because uh, I'm also getting the six of cups where someone is reuniting with you. Someone from your past that may have had regrets for walking away, going towards perhaps an ex or going towards another situation because there may have been some residual um, feelings or some work that needed to be done. Maybe they felt like they had some unfinished business with someone only to find that they were unfulfilled and now they want to return because now they're ready. According to Alicia Keys, uh, name of the song is um, I'm Ready. So they weren't ready in the past, which is why you could have walked away because it was uh, 2.33 on the clock when we first um, started the reading. And that is just giving me the inkling of like the Eight of Cups where, you know, you walk away, self-love is more important or self-love is more attractive. Um, and you, you focused on you, yourself, and you. That was loving yourself. Uh, maybe you had some sort of inkling that that was the best thing for you to do. So we have on the bottom of the deck surrender. Yeah, so I feel like someone is coming back very obedient. Like they feel like they want to surrender to you. Um, who is this playing now? And we have um, Tavares. This is called Never Had a Love Like This Before. So someone's realizing just how special and how um, rare this connection is, how unique the connection they have with you, the feelings they may have. Um, but they've never had a love like this before. So that means that this is like something very rare, uh, also something very special. You know, they feel like they need to cherish it or they need to... Um, You know, they need to do what they can to perhaps uh, repair this connection or reconcile. But they are, you know, perhaps they were trying to fight it because I see, you know, this 91. And it's 17, 17 on the clock. So that is 8, 8 again. 8, 8 breaks down to 16. That's 7. So they will be taking action. I do feel like maybe they were a little conflicted uh, because this 91 is showing me like, you know, there's a death of a perhaps a mindset or a belief system or a behavior or a habit. Maybe someone was in the habit of fighting, um, you know, fighting against what they wanted. This is someone trying to control. So spirit is telling someone to surrender. You know, the surrendering is what's going to get you the results that you desire. And that's probably why we had I'm Ready playing by Alicia Keys because someone wasn't, they didn't feel like they were ready. You know, they were, they were trying to control the narrative or control the situation um, to the best of their ability and they weren't equipped to do that. And so spirit had to step in, you know, there had to be some, some pieces moved around. I feel like when you, uh, showed up differently or when you finally stood your ground and decided to walk away from a situation, um, and love yourselves more, uh, more so than that person, I feel like that kind of force someone to wake up and see things for what they truly were. Maybe they were used to being in control or used to having their way. Uh, but I feel like now they're learning to be more obedient and to surrender to spirit opposed to trying to control the narratives. So let's uh, tap in and see what we got. So on the split, we have 26. There goes that eight again, and that's love partnership. And then we have 91, surrender. So absolutely what I just said. Someone refused to surrender. They were trying to control their feelings or trying to push their feelings down. They didn't want to be vulnerable in this instance. And that's why now they're having some sort of epiphany. There's this epiphanic moment where now they're ready. Uh, because we had Alicia Keys. I feel like the, the, the circumstance that unfolded in the past was they definitely got entangled with perhaps a karmic. Um, and now they're trying to muster up the strength and the courage to come back towards you. Uh, and I feel like, you know, that's why that 91, that 10, it's a death of, of, of them fighting against something that they actually want to fight for. They're willing to fight for this connection now uh, because they realize that they love you. So there's been a lot of downloads. There's been a lot of transmissions, divine interventions from spirit signs, synchronicities, too many to just be a winky dink. There's no such thing as coincidences. It's all divine timing and in divine order. So someone is starting to realize that and recognize that. And what they've had is an epiphany really exposing just how much they 
adore you, just how much they care for you, how much they love you. Um, because there's pink on the inside of this symbol. So this is all purple. Purple deals with the crown chakra and this pink deals with the heart chakra. So I feel like someone is finally realizing like they do love you. Um, and they were trying to ignore it. They were trying to deny it. Maybe they were suppressing it. Maybe they were trying to uh, control their feelings. But now it's like they're willing to surrender. Now they're willing to take action, you know, because that 91 breaks down to 10, which means it's an ending. So they may be having an ego death, a death of you know an old way of doing things thinking um you know belief systems ideologies habits behaviors and you know emerging someone new having a fresh perspective um this one also is associated with the magician so they could be trying to figure out how to manifest you back into their lives but this is someone that's realizing like you know they love you um and this is someone that you did walk away from because you felt emotionally bankrupt or they felt uh you know like you know, they've never had a love like yours before. You know, fighting it um, definitely revealed, like, wow, you know. And so, um, and I feel like they're attracted to you because we have Oshun singing East. So I do feel like this is someone who's very attracted to you because Oshun is a beautiful Orisha, a very powerful Orisha. Uh, she's, she's attractive. She's powerful. She's abundant. Um, she represents fertility and love. Um... And, you know, so maybe some of you all are being seen as just very attractive at this time, very powerful. Uh, you could be very uh, magnetic, like you could just be, um, you know, piquing the interest of several suitors. You know, there could be a lot of people kind of keeping their eye on you and you may not know, or maybe you do. Uh, but there's a lot of people that could be interested at you at, in you at this time, you know, interested in this new version of you. So let's tap in. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's tap in and see who is this person. We're going to get one more card for this. I do want to pull another card for the overall energy. Because that just jumped on out of the box. And I like to take them. So this one wanted to you know, make its debut. The 55 Adventure. So this is like, you know, uh, no longer staying confined or staying in a comfort zone. This is more about being more spontaneous, more daring, more risky, taking that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? Um, just having more fun. Maybe some of you all will be traveling more. Um, you know, maybe some of you all will just start doing things that has always interested you. Um, you know, but you allowed fear or you allowed other things, other obligations to to hinder those opportunities. So this year it's going to be more spontaneity, I'm hearing, you know, more adventure, more excitement. So overall energy, we have moderations. This is 14. So 14 reduces to five. And so five and six is 11. So I definitely feel like there is like a twin flame or soulmate, uh, you know, a beloved. This also could speak to you finding your own balance and harmony because that 87, 6 and this 5 reduces to 11, 11 reduces to 2. I know it's a master number, but the way I read, I like to break things down for, you know, to smallest of detail. So that 2 is telling me like that's like the 2 of cups. Um, this is about healing thyself. This is finding balance, you know, mind, body and soul. Um, but this also is you really working hard, juggling a lot, managing a lot, but still staying, you know, harmonized within the self. This could also represent someone who's making a, a conscious decision to make some sort of changes so that they could become more harmonized with your energy, your frequency, and your vibration because they're getting a lot of downloads from spirit. You know, this is that person from the past that is looking at you, looking at this connection and realizing just how sacred just how special uh and so they are making um a decision the choice to you know work on themselves that five is associated with the hierophant and the hierophant is all about self-mastery and studentship um sitting at the feet of the elders or speaking to a maternal or paternal figure in your life uh speaking to a pastor or speaking to a master teacher a reiki healer uh but just soaking up that wisdom that knowledge and that gain um knowledge is power only when it's applied and so i feel like whoever this is they are going to absolutely um, affect some sort of change uh, because they are looking to change. They are looking to heal. More importantly, this is a green card and on the inside it's orange. So they know that they are um, responsible for their own 
healing. They know, and that's actually red inside part of me. Um, they they're taking the necessary steps, the appropriate steps to you know get to the root cause of perhaps whatever the issues may have been, which which caused them to struggle in relationships. I feel like they're really looking at the whole picture and they're seeing how uh, they played a major part in this you know um there's a lot of things buried secrets you know two is associated with the high priestess and she's the keeper of ancient wisdom and um knowledge um but that's also someone very intuitive and very uh very psychic so whoever this is it's like they're trusting their intuition this time around and they're using discernment and what their higher self what their angels and guides are nudging them to do is to work on self-improvement you know, work on healing that self. When you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, then you begin to know that self. And so all those things that may have restricted you or had you in bondage um, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, you now can break free from those things because you have a new perspective, a fresh perspective, and you can see things very clearly. So this is about breaking free from the illusions and the confusion and the delusionment and, and, and emerging someone completely different and being able to make those decisions um, with, 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 uh, with a clear intention. You know, so I'm getting like the two of wands where you finally make that choice, you know, so you have to you you have to choose wisely in whatever it is you're doing. And I feel like that's exactly what's uh, what this is showing, because there were some changes, changes, always, um, you know, change is inevitable. Um, no one can get out of get away from making changes. Those who fight against it, they find themselves repeating cycles over and over and over because they just don't want to change. And when you surrender to spirit and realize like you're not in control of anything, that there is a purpose here for you and you are to be obedient to that purpose or you just live in a, a in a cycle. You just it's a constant cycle, a vicious cycle. So this is someone breaking, you know, a cycle and, and, and paying attention. Like I said, being obedient because there's things that are happening and that means that they're aware they're being very conscious of what's going on around them for them to acknowledge damn that was a synchronicity i saw 444 last week or i saw 444 yesterday and now i'm seeing it again today or i saw it earlier i saw 111 or i saw the same bird the same bird seems to 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 follow me when i'm taking a nature walk or the same tree tends to sing whenever i'm sitting around it it's like that's when you start you know, being more conscious, more aware of your surroundings and more aware of the communication the spirit is um, engaging with you. So that's powerful. And so we have Billy Joel. Um, we didn't start the fire here. So this is just telling me like, you know, when, with we didn't start the fire, it's sounding like this is something that you or this person did not have um, a part in this could be something generational. This could be something on someone's bloodline. You didn't start the fire, but it's your it's your responsibility to put it out. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, you know, spirit is saying like, you know, you may not have started um, whatever these issues are. This person may not have been the one to start whatever the, the, the communication issues or the emotional disconnect. It's like they didn't start it, but it's up to them. You have to be responsible to change your circumstance. So you could live a comfortable lie um, or you could live an uncomfortable truth is what I'm hearing. And that may be the title of the reading because that's very profound. So we have on the bottom of the deck, what did I say about somebody up in their head? 71 health is saying that someone is really anxious, really, you know, there's angst, there's confusion, there's frustration, there's even stress over the situation, mental conflict, ruminating, pining, overthinking, dreaming, waking up, dreaming about it, thinking about it, daydreaming about it. And this is just something that someone needs to really confront. You have to confront your fears and you have to also realize that fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. So someone is assuming a situation is going to occur a certain way without even having that dialogue or without even having any type of proof or evidence that that is so. So this is all, you know, made up in someone's mind. 
you know, this is like someone in two minds and they're having a whole conversation dialogue by themselves. 29, 29 on the clock, that's 11, 11. So this could be your twin flame or your soulmate. Maybe someone is having this dialogue because they've come to some sort of epiphany that you could be their twin flame or you could be their cosmic companion. And now they're trying to figure out how to strategize, come back to regain your trust because you've walked away already. So they're not sure if you're going to be open or responsive. But remember, we had surrender. So maybe they're confused or conflicted or maybe they're having some some um, regrets about the past and how they allowed you to walk away because I was feel, feeling like this was someone that walked away from you to go and pursue something else that they may have had residual feelings only to discover that they were not absolutely um, invested in that connection. Sirens are going off so this is definitely um, this is causing a lot of alarm in someone fear yeah, so this person unexpectedly um, came to this revelation that they feel these things for you. But whoever you're attracting, they got a lot of fears. Um, and I just saw 30-30, so that's six. You know, and that six is, again, you know, someone from your past. Um, six is also associated with the um, lovers, like I said, but I'm also getting like the six of cups. I'm also feeling like this person breadcrumbed. This person really gave you bits and pieces. Um, really didn't invest, didn't appreciate you, didn't value you, didn't see your worth. And I feel like this is, again, what's causing them to have such, you know, fear um, and anxiety in approaching you or returning uh, because you're different. You're, you're, you, you know, and they also have you know, hit been hit with the truth. Like the truth has been revealed to them. There, there's illumination, there's clarity. And we have uh, Cambada. This is called Ground God's Day. So they could be grounding themselves. And the more you heal, the more you ground yourself, the more you place yourself in the environment of, 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 of nature, um, around the, the elements of water or fire, air or earth, um, you more will be revealed to you. Um, and you will be able to see the truth. And that could be why there's a lot of anxiety here and stress. So let's tap in. So who is our beautiful Scorpio attracting to them? Let's get a nice 2023 project prediction for our beloved Scorpios. What is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them in this beautiful 2023? And we have abundance here on the bottom of the deck. That's 88 again. That showed up in the form of reading. So you are absolutely coming into a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity. We had eight uh, show up in the beginning of the reading. So this is really saying like wish fulfillment, blessings. It's rushing in because this 88 reduces the 16 at 7. So that's like the chariot. That's like a yes. That's like confirmation that things are going to be really fast moving, fast approaching. But it's also good things. You know, things are bringing balance. It's bringing a restoration of, you know, happiness, peace, love, joy, um, and fulfillment. So you got new beginnings here. So you have beautiful... Uh, person that's coming in for a new start, a new beginning. This is someone that does have a lot of fire and desire. Uh, this is someone that you may have history with. Uh, this is someone that you could have, um, you know, this, there's a lot of passion. You know, this is someone that really feels a lot of passion um, and a desire to start over, a desire to rekindle, a desire to have this new start. Um, that's one, one, one. So this is someone that absolutely wants to reunite, reconnect, uh, and also heal, you know, whatever, you know, transpired in the past. They want to try to heal this connection. They definitely want to rebuild. They want to build a nucleus, build a family. Um, we have group home and it says up against the wall. So someone may feel like, you know, their back is up against the wall, uh, maybe where they're currently residing. Um, things are a little difficult. Maybe they're not happy in their place, you know, in their in their um you know, place of residency, maybe they're co, uh, you know, cohabitating with another person and they're looking for a fresh start or a new beginning. How they feel about you is love partnership. So this is someone that definitely feels like you are a wish fulfillment. They see you as a star. Maybe you're in the spotlight at this time. Maybe they're seeing how you have grown, you've matured. Uh, they definitely feel like you walked away and you've found yourselves um, in that process. Whatever confusion or whatever um, took place in the connection with them, it's like you reemerged someone different. But they see that you've been healing. 
Um, they see that you've learned to co-create with Source. You've learned to master your crafts. Maybe you have your own business. Maybe you are pursuing, um, you know, a higher level education. Maybe you're going to school to learn, you know, music therapy or sound therapy or Reiki healing or yogi. You know, you're doing something at a high level. Um, very ambitious. They see you as very, very focused. Uh, and this is something that they really love about you because it's like you're always transforming. You're always emerging a different person. They see the growth. Uh, constantly so you're you're never stuck and stagnant in one place um, if anything it's like they, they it's it's admiring um, to to see someone constantly transforming for the better or changing um, so this is something beautiful and we got the seven personal growth here this is what's hidden in the energy so I feel like they're also going through some sort of uh, transformative time in their life but this personal growth what's hitting is showing that there is again you know a focus on building oneself up mind body and soul this is about spiritual alignment physical mental emotional alignment becoming more intellectual becoming more empathetic sensitive forgiving um, honest, you know, being able to see through the illusions. This is about, you know, trusting your intuition as well uh, and being able to see, you know, things for what they truly are. Learning from the mistakes of the past um, and becoming healed. Whoever this is with up against the wall, you know, I feel like this person may realize like, you know, wherever they are, there isn't growth. You know, that whatever isn't growing, it's dead, stinking and buried. And it's time to move on, which is why they're in this new beginning. So they could have ended a cycle or ended a connection, um, you know, maybe even change their their mind about a particular direction. Uh, but this is a, a whole new um, focus, refocusing their energy on something new. And I see with this personal growth, there's absolutely like a graduation or a leveling up, you know, to to get to that place of of, um, you know, sound mind, body and soul. Get to that place where you are div divinely connected to your guides, to your angels. And there are no confusion. There could be no confusion when you're receiving downloads straight from source. So this is beautiful. There's a lot of divine interventions here. I see spirit really stepping in um, and really making um, making its presence known. So with this 11, that's 2, that's 3. So they want to return 3 and 26, that's 11 again. So they do see you as their divine counterpart. They see you as someone that they could unite with, build with, collaborate with grow with, someone that they want to support, someone that they can have equal exchange of give and take. They see you as their divine, uh, you know, um, counterpart, their cosmic companion, the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin. Um, and this, this uh, two and the seven is nine. So this is necessary changes. They're, they're making the necessary change to come towards you. This is also someone who's been in hermit mode for quite some time, isolated, um, you know, working on themselves, going through that dark night of the soul journey and growing wiser. The longer they stay in isolation away from other people, the more they feel, the more is revealed, you know. Um, so that's really about soul searching and discovery, uh, self-assessing. Um, but also it's about taking accountability and onus of past actions. And so there's growth here. The outcome is completion. So cycles wrapping up, that's 9-9, nine, nine, that's still 9. So cycles wrapped up. This is about cutting the karmic cords, yokes, hex spells, and also just coming into um, a brand new you know, cycle, something new being birthed. Uh, because it takes nine months for you to birth a child. So nine is about birthing something new. Something's in the incubation stat status and it's about to um, it's about to be something new that's that's coming into this reality, into this realm. And this is a very beautiful energy of just showing that, you know, cycles wrapped up, there's completion. And with this eight eight now all of the abundance, all of the wish fulfillment, all of the blessings can now pour in. You know, those answered prayers, petitions that were being sent up during this time are now going to be fulfilled. And we have Prince in the Revolution when doves cry. And so doves are very indicative of rebirth. 
um, very indicative of a new beginning or some sort of uh, transformative time. So I feel like they also represent love, you know, so something does have the potential um, of being rekindled, of being healed. Um, there's like something that could be um, be be revisited, I'm feeling. Uh, birds are, you know, um, angel messengers. You know, they, they present messages. So someone from your past could be sending you a letter, um, an email. They could shoot you a text. They could DM you. Uh, someone could literally pull up and knock on your door. Um, they may even call you. Whatever the case may be, uh, message you. There's a message. Um, and when doves cry, I feel like someone is very emotional. Um you know, someone's very emotional about this connection or about what they've, what's been revealed to them. You know, it's like the truth is, is, is a very painful, um, thing to, to, uh, endure, especially when you've been living a lie, you know? So when you realize you've been living a lie, you've been, you know, the culprit in your own, uh, misfortune or unhappiness, that is like a, a, a tough pill to swallow. Um, you know, so now that there's these revelations or these epiphanic moments taking place, someone is really, really sad, really feeling like um, they've missed an opportunity or they have deep regrets. I just feel heavy regret here, but I also feel like there's uh, a completion of a cycle where there's no communication or miscommunication or a lack of contact. And now there's going to be an opportunity to either make amends, um, agree to just be friends or to just, you know, rebuild some sort of connection where there can be communication. But we shall see what comes in. So with this abundance, be prepared to have, you know, all the happiness and joy um, that your heart desires because there's really, truly, um, I just feel like you've earned all of the blessings that are coming in. We have Phyllis Hyman, and this is called Believe in You. So just as I said, because you all believed in yourselves, you've walked in faith, and you've re been very resilient in this process. Like you've been met with a lot of di misfortune, pain, trauma. Uh, you know, you, you could have been deceived, betrayed by people closest to you, but you still persevered through it all. Whatever doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. So I feel like that's something that's also, you know, observed by many. And it's, it's, it's not only... Um, admirable but it's also like some of these very people that are observing you are the ones the culprits that were trying to hurt you harm you trying to take you out and and it didn't work so there's there's also this this fear associated with you know maybe you're going to seek retaliation or maybe you know and it's like you don't even worry about that because you got a team you know that 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 will handle all of the karmic debts that need to be paid off you better believe universe mama my eye knows everybody's address has everybody's address and she'll make her 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 uh presence know um but you on the other hand it's like people have seen you really um blossom and that's a beautiful thing uh for those of you to whom this applies. So let's tap in. I don't even want to get no witch's wisdom. I'm not even on it like that. We're going to do moonology. Let's tap in to moonology. See what we got. Coming and going out going on with the moonology messages. Beloved. Let's see what we got. Wow. Look at that. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. A new start. This is double confirmation. So you got a new beginning. And then you have a new start coming. Is coming. So that's exactly what you know, change represents as well is, you know, things are changing. So that's representing something new, you know, it's going to be a new experience, a new, um, you know, opportunity to make things right. So on the split, we have take time to breathe out. And then it says a new start is coming. So that sounds very hermit like to me. That sounds like, you know, someone just, you know, kind of like in isolation, um, you know, dealing on their own, doing their healing on their own, going through that dark night of the soul journey on their own, you know, being single and, and just really fighting through uh, a lot of, of, of these, uh, these. These are really karmic lessons. Um, that you're experiencing, you know, because there's been a lot of things that we have to unlearn. So this is really showing that, you know, this is that meditative energy, you know, taking the time to breathe in, taking the time to exhale, observe, analyze, um, fine tune, uh, whatever needs to be done. But this is beautiful energy because there is something new, you know, you're on the precipice of something brand new. So this is lovely. So divine spirit of love.
What's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and a message of light. What's coming in in 2023? Let me get some of these projections. Um, spirit. I see you've been really, you know, planting seeds. You've been learning to hone your own gifts. You know, you've been really planting seeds in good faith. And I feel like all of that hard work, it's absolutely going to pay off. Not only do other people see the work you've been doing, the most importantly is, you know, spirit has seen it, has acknowledged it. So divine spirit of love and light. Some people like to fake the funk, you know, they like to sound like they're healing and sound, you know, they, they, all the talking points, they'll say all the things they're hearing in videos, but then you look at their actions and they still on the same time. They still on that demon time. So that's why words, it's like you, you can't sit around listening to people talk all day. You know, the change has to be noticeable in their action. Change behavior represents a change. That's it, period. You can't fake change. But you can fake change by sounding like you change. But then if somebody watches you long enough, you're going to slip up. So let's tap in. So the overall energy is being clarified. It says it's time to take action. And we have that 87 synchronicity, 14 moderation. So that's what someone said. I got to stop playing with my life and I got to get it together because I'm not doing nothing but hurting myself. You know, so there was a lot of signs and synchronicity spirit was given someone. And this was revealing to them like, yo, change is inevitable. You have to make the changes within yourself. And those changes included healing. Those changes included reflection. Those changes included seeking help. You know, whether that's going to counseling going to a therapist, sitting at the feet of an elder, going to a pastor, a preacher, a master teacher, whomever, someone that has the ability to help you see things from a different perspective. Because this is all, when you have that card surrender, it's like that's a that's an, someone who's, who's very um, controlling, trying to control the situation, or very fixed even. They just want things this way. They are not open to change. They're not willing to collaborate. They're not willing to to um, compromise even. And this is this ram is is very you know indicative of someone with a hard head, you know someone who's just just refuses to see things from other people's perspective. And spirit is like, look, you know you have to make these moderations. And you have to enact on these changes now or else that window of opportunity, you may never have that a while for a long time. And so it's very difficult for someone who, who is used to getting things their way, used to doing things a certain way. Someone who has this, this particular routine, it's difficult for people to, to try to something new, you know. And so we have... Um, So this is a, I don't know what this is. This was, I don't know, somebody's video. All right, so now we got Summer Rain or Carl Thomas. So the summer is definitely, you know, um, a time when everything is bright and beautiful and warm. You know, it's, it's really a time of, of really, um, you know, the flowers are blossoming. It's a beautiful time to be alive. I keep hearing that in my mind's eye. And so, you know, that's very indicative because I'm seeing like the sun and the birds and butterflies. So it's like everything is alive. Everything is vibrant. So that's wherever someone is at now, it is a very, um, it, it feels more docile. It feels more stagnant. It feels more gloomy. You know, it doesn't feel as happy. So with summer rain, someone is having that like that epiphany. You know, it's it's like it's tear. I'm hearing tears of joy, you know, because maybe someone is finally making a decision to take action because it says it's time to take action. So it's like get out of this this stuck and stagnant situation and, and take action. Go towards where your passions lie. You know, on the bottom of the deck, it says meditate and contemplate. So someone is really, you know, taking the time out to strategize, perhaps. And we have 48, 48, that's 12, 12. So that's three, three, and that's six. So that is someone moving away, moving on. I'm getting the six of swords, you know, because that's right. You know, they're, they're planning their move. They're planning an, an exit strategy. 
uh, how to go and finally find that peace, how to get out of a situation that's making them feel very conflicted or just very much in a in in a um, in a bondage, you know, like very codependent type of connection here. And so now with summer rain, it's like, you know, the water is healing. The water also is an element of love. It's also an element uh, which allows for someone to listen to their intuition. So someone could be manifesting some sort of new beginning, tapping into their inner magi, their inner alchemist. Because that new beginning is something they're working on. They're working on manifesting that with that one. That's the magician. And so they could be really like studying right now. Meditating, contemplating, strategizing, planning, and preparing. Someone's name could be Carl or Thomas. So I'm going to start looking like, why is this new beginning here for the person or the thing that I believe Scorpios are attracting to them? And it says the answers you need are coming. So absolutely, the answers you need are coming. So someone's manifesting something and the truth is going to be revealed. So whatever they're manifesting, it's like it's it's going to reveal some sort of new movement. You could be dealing with someone who has um, fire in their chart, air in their chart, water in their chart. And it says show the world the real you. So someone has been living in a lie, living in a lie, living in illusion. And we're about to pull the card for love partnership 26 this is how they feel about you and this is what's on the bottom of the deck show the world the real you so they feel like they're finally seeing you for who you truly are they're seeing you as a star because i keep seeing the star twinkling in the sky 26 8 remember it was 8 when we first touched the cards it was 233 and so the star i associate that number 17 with the eight infinite possibilities um, so that eight is giving me like they're looking at you as, you know, you're finally in, you know, living your authentic, like you're living authentic. Wait, how do you say that? You're living authentically. Thank you, spirit. It's like you're finally living you, your truth. You're, you're being your authentic self. You're not hiding anything. You're not, you're not, um, you're, it's just like you, you're being your authentic self. And they, this is inspiring them because now they desire to show the world the real them. Maybe they've been living in an illusion and they have not been um, showing the world who they truly are either. And so maybe you've sparked something in this person. You've ignited something within them. You encourage them because the love partnership is how they feel. Like they feel the connection with you. Let's tap in. So why is love partnership here for the person, how this person, Scorpio, is attracting and feels about them? Why is love partnership here? May I mess up with love and light? And we have um, Isaac Hayes, walk on biplane. I'm going to show you. So Isaac Hayes, walk on by. So what did I say? Y'all walked away. From them, you know, self love is more attractive. You got tired of giving to someone who wasn't reciprocating, who was breadcrumbing, you know. And we have worked through your fears. What did I say? False expectations appearing real. Someone is having to work through their fears because of the way things unfolded in the past, and now they have to confront you. What flew out is meditating, contemplate. We just saw that, so they are really trying to figure out how to come towards you. And with walk on by, they have fears that you're just going to, like, leave them hanging. You know, like, you're just going to keep it moving. You're not going to, you know, give them the time of day. So they're really mastering some sort of plan, meditating and contemplating on how to, to you know, to um, manifest you back into their life. But they have a lot of fears. You know, their, their fears are really crippling them, paralyzing them. And they have to get out of their head. They make up a lot of, you know, because Pisces, this says um, new moon. and Oh, no, this is, I'm tripping. So it says, um, what is that? New moon in Pisces. And Pisces can be like dreamers. They can live in their head a lot and paint these pictures and tell themselves all these stories. But they have no proof. You know, so it's like you have to 
have a conversation, have dialogue, see what happens. But this is someone who's, you know, really like, you know, maybe they're intimidated by you or intimidated by the feelings they feel. Maybe they just fear rejection. Why is personal growth here for the um, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Why is this personal growth here? What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios? We have a message of love and light. Some of you all will walk on by, like you will keep it pushing. You know, I feel like you will forgive whoever this is, but you are not accepting them back in your life. And we have your hard work is paying off. So someone has been working very hard, you know, and this seven, like I said, this is like elevating. This is graduating. You know, you went from that, you know, that's like the elevator going all the way up from the, the root, the root chakra. That's your chakra, Scorpios, to get to the seven. That's personal growth. That's like showing just how spiritually strong you are, how connected you are. So we have a new start is coming that came on out. So doing part to your, your personal growth, you're guaranteed a brand new beginning. You're guaranteed blessings. You're guaranteed opportunities. You're guaranteed success. Maybe even travel. The train is here. So this is forward movement. That seven is also associated with the chariot. And the train was going by. So that's like moving forward. There's like powerful movements forward. There's success. There's travel. There's all kinds of... of um, you know, beautiful opportunities that are going to present themselves in this uh, seven universal year. I really feel like y'all are going to be very excited, very elated. And it's because you worked hard to get here. Like this is no mistake. You know, you did the work. So now you will receive the fruits of your labor. 55, 55. That's 10, 10. You went through painful endings, painful cycles, betrayals. You carried the weight on your shoulders, but you never gave up. You never stopped. You kept pushing. And your hard work is paying off because those seeds that you sowed, you know, I'm getting like the seven of pentacles. When you was thinking that things were going to turn out one way and they turned out a completely different way, that doesn't take away from all the seeds you still sowed, all the hard work that you did. That's why spirit acknowledged it. Spirit's like, yo, your hard work is paying off. Trust and believe, beloved. And so what we have here, take time to breathe out. Take time. With this completion, it's been a, a rough cycle. It's been a rough patch. It's been very traumatic, very, you know, tumultuous for many of you. Some of you all could have, you know, had high blood pressure going through this experience. You know, you had some health scares going through these experiences, but you survived. Spirit wants you to wusa. 56, 56, your divine feminine, divine masculine is coming into your life. So they want you to take this time out to love on you, to take care of you, and to also prepare for the new cycle, this new cycle that's ahead. Because your hard work has paid off. You deserve everything that's coming in. Remember, you had this abundance card. So it's like you, you have really shown spirit just how resilient you are. You've shown spirit just how much you want, you know, how much you want the change. This is beautiful. So whatever confusion you was going through initially with, with that Isaac Hayes, it's like now you see things very clearly. There's no more confusion. It's like I feel like now you all know your worth. You now know your value. So you're not settling anymore. You're not allowing anybody or anything to have you questioning yourselves. Or It's just it's like a beautiful energy I'm picking up on. And it's because you worked hard. It's like when you work hard, you get, you know, you will see the results. So as I opened this box, this flew out. So I opened up this box and I see what I did wrong. I didn't put the book. I think my son put my cards away from me and he didn't put the book on top of the cards. But this flew out. So this says triumphant success, beloved. So cutting yourself free from ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, people, places, things that no longer serve you. This also represents someone seeing the truth, having clarity. This is that epiphanic moment. This is someone finally saying, I want to clear the air. I want to express myself. I want to speak my truth. This is powerful stuff right here. I'm loving it. So that triumphant success, there's absolute success in your near future. There's success in this year. Because I know you all have been doing the work. Universe is the same as the world card. 
So this is showing how you have reached that level of self-mastery. You've gone through all of the elements, all of the tests. You've been prodded. You know what I'm talking about? Like you've been tested beyond measure. And you have come out wiser, stronger. You have reached that level of seeing things from a higher, deeper, and more profound perspective. This is you and I verse. You've become a part of that. You know how to speak into the ethers and manifest your desired outcome. You know how to co-create with source. You've mastered all of the elements. Water, fire, earth, air, ether, as above, so below, as within, so without. You have really, you know, this is about elevation. This is about graduation. This is about ascension, ultimately. And that's why you have the success here. So that's beautiful. On the split, see this? What did I say? Someone was up in their head. Remember, we saw that 71 health. And this says trapped in what? Fear. So someone is very afraid. Why? Look who they're approaching. You know, the universe is the world card. This is someone who's wise. This is someone who can see right through you. You know, this is someone who's very skilled. This is how they see you. This is why it's requiring a lot of meditation because they do desire you. You are wish fulfillment. You're anyone's wish fulfillment because of the work that you've been doing on yourself, because of the love, the nurturing, the care, the wisdom, you know, the power, that nurturing energy, that maternal or paternal, you know, energy, that resourcefulness, that practicalness, that that domestic skill set it's like you you're creatives and there's a lot of stress that someone is dealing with and trying to even figure out of how to formulate the words to speak to someone who is this you know spiritual you know this spiritually strong and powerful being how does one address that you know because this is how they feel about you is that 26 8 and they're all up in their head that's the eight of swords that's the mental health stressing overthinking up late at night and it says walk on by so they stressing over you walking out of their lives walking moving on my spirit of love and light let's tap in let's get some project predictions for this 2023 universal year beloveds let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beautiful scorpios my uh, spirit of love and light uh, spirit of love and light get a couple more shuffles uh, spirit of love and light one more See that? Look at that. This is what they feel. Mental conflict. Stuck in two minds. See that? Stress. The stress. The stress is like really weighing heavy on someone. Get one more shuffle. Just wanted to see. And I saw. And I was like, good lord. It is, it is really heavy on somebody's heart though. And it's because they, the truth has been revealed. Like I said, the truth... The, the, the truth hurts when you've been living an uncomfortable, you know, a comfortable lie. You, you, the, the, the truth could be very uncomfortable. And that's what somebody is dealing with right now. So the overall energy is being clarified. We have this uh, rejoice and celebration. So, yeah, this is what they want. That's why they're coming in with this com communication here. And it says triumph and success. So perhaps the conversations will lead to, hey, how about we meet up? You know, how about we sit down, break bread? How about we have a little, you know, we have a little drink, you know, a little glass of wine and have a conversation. But whatever it is, it's like somebody's rejoicing in celebration, just being able to have that opportunity to communicate. Because maybe, as I said, the fear had been hindering someone for so long. And now finally there's action. Now finally there's some movement, you know. And so this is bringing a little bit of joy. You know, just being in your presence could be a blessing in and of itself. Because you have a very healing, 
ability, you know, just being around someone who is emotionally intelligent and very empathic and compassionate um, is very healing to someone who does not have those type of individuals around them. Most people don't have empathy, you know, most people aren't compassionate. Um, a lot of people have been desensitized to have those type of emotions where you care about your fellow man, your fellow human. You know, it, it, it's unfortunate. Like I, I just deactivated, you know, all news outlets from my from my emails, from my phones, from my I don't want to see nothing from the news. I don't care how misinformed you think I am. But that stuff, it literally if you wake up listening to that mess, it truly it truly plays a part in your peace of mind because you already fearing going out into the world based off all the bad ish they're telling you happened overnight while you was resting. And so it's like they program you to have this fear, to walk in fear, to be fearful. I've seen videos that sleep slip up. That's why I deactivated a lot of people that I was like, I mean, um, you know, I unsubscribed from a lot of people who speak about like, um, you know, things that are happening in the world. You know, they'll go as far as showing you someone's life getting snuffed out like on camera. Like why what makes you think people want to see that? That's disrespectful to that person, to their family, but I don't want to see no one take their last breath. I'm not that interested. I don't know how people could go and watch a video and see people get shot down like dogs or see people get I I, I just can't watch it. So the desensitization that has taken place and it's all programmed so that we will not feel, you know, anything when it happens. It's just like, oh, it's another day in the neighborhood. And so a lot of people are very desensitized now. And so it's very rare to find people who are empathic and compassionate and genuinely concerned about your well-being. So that's why everybody's very suspicious and at a 10 because it's like, it's, it's a rarity to find someone who is truly empathic and caring. And so this is what they've come to realize. I said all of that to say someone is realizing that. Whomever they was dealing with, whatever, groups of folks, whomever they was, it was all an illusion. You know, and they could have been under the influence, you know, which also impacts their ability to see things for what it truly is. It impairs you. So that's why it's not always a great idea to just drink yourselves into oblivion or to utilize things that kind of like they they they, they um affect your ability to see the truth of the matter you know so it's like i feel strongly there's a celebratory moment maybe getting over a hump getting you know some clarity maybe there was a lot of assumptions you know, pertaining a, a someone in the partnership or a situation within the partnership. And then there's clarity now because someone clears the air. Then we have Shannon. And this is called Let the Music Play. And so maybe someone is also clairaudient because there was a certain song that could possibly, uh, you know, could have been dropping some sort of jewels and gems, like giving them a little divine download or intervention about a situation or even about the, the necessity for them to make those moderations and changes and to act now because it's of imp it's imperative. You know, it's like you need to net you need to change now. Or you're going to be like this for the rest of your life. And then you're going to have to come back here and do all of this ish over. Because you chose to not be obedient. Because you didn't do what was necessary for you to, you know, to, to, to learn the lesson. So this is powerful. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see. So we have stand your ground here. So we're about to clarify this person. It says, stand your ground. We got the number one new beginning. And it says the answers you need are coming. So with stand your ground, this is someone finally, you know, getting the backbone. Finally standing erect. Finally speaking up for themselves. Why? Because they had that download. Would let the music play. Somebody received the download. Somebody received some sort of divine intervention from spirit. Telling them it's time to make change. It's time to affect the change. But more importantly, it's time to take action. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get this ball rolling. You gotta get up out of this situation. Maybe they were in something, stuck in a, a connection that was going nowhere. Maybe they was trapped in a belief system. Maybe they was drinking too much, drugging too much. 
And now there's, a, you know, a free, freeing themselves, cutting themselves free. Because it says triumphant success. So there is some sort of success. Something ends in a very successful manner. So let's take a peeky peek. So stand your ground. Someone is definitely not backing down, speaking their truth, saying what they need to say. This is not someone afraid or fearful. This is someone finally, you know, utilizing their throat chakra to say what they need to say. And that was the person that was like trapped in fear. Because remember, we had that... um that um that one and that seven that seven and one rather and it was saying um health and i always associate that one and that seven uh to the eight of swords and that was in the uh numerology deck so let's let's tap in so why is this new beginning wow the answers you need to come in. i'm going to look at these cards expound on them and then i'm gonna throw them right on back into the into the path oh wow i see why look at that oh very interesting very very interesting so look at this. It's number one, passion ignited. Didn't I say this person has a lot of passion, a lot of fire? Ones are very felicious. This could be a masculine energy. This is someone who has a lot of passion, realizing how much they love you. Look at that heart chakra. It's on it's a flamed. You know, and it's even designed almost like a phoenix rising. So this was something that changed within them. And it says the answers you seek are coming. So something, you know, there was like uh almost like an eruption within something that was lying dormant whether that was their feelings their emotions love whatever it was that was lying dormant it's like now it's 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 erupting and it's it's almost awakened them this one is like now there's no choice but to take action there goes the eight this is that wish fulfillment recognizing realizing someone is a wish fulfillment someone brings you joy someone brings you this happiness and no matter how much you try to hide it or deny it or suppress it, it will come to surface. It will. And so that's what someone's realizing. And there is a message. There's a message coming quickly. Remember when we first touched the cards and I just saw one, 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 one. So that's five. So that's that same person that was making the moderations. They've had a wake-up call. They've had some sort of wake-up call with Shannon. Let the music play. Someone's name could be Shannon first, middle, or last. But there's with this accelerated motion, there's a quick there's there's some action. This person is moving quickly because they've realized there's there's absolutely like a wish fulfillment. There's absolutely something here very special. And they feel pulled. See how she's just watching this star? She's prayed to the star a million times and to finally see this star shooting is letting her know that that wish is coming true. There's blessings. We got the three. It says partnerships and alliances. And I literally had said this in the beginning of the reading. Like there's more profound connections. This is someone coming in with the intention to hold you up. This is someone coming in with the intention. Equal give and take. Working together as a team. Building that alliance. Building that, that um, partnership. Cultivating a connection. Establishing solid foundation, a support system. This is this is like two people really working hard to achieve a common goal. They've seen the light, beloved. You are the light. You are the truth. This is someone that really feels like you are their happily ever after. They love you. Remember that same 19... We saw in the beginning, it said surrender. Doesn't she look like she's finally surrendering and she's she's reaching out for the stars, reaching for the light. This is like spirit is giving someone that, that aha moment, that epiphanic moment has transpired within whomever this person is. And we have saw rock here forever. So someone, that person that was like, their head was hard as a rock, hard headed. It's like now they've seen the light and they realize that this is a forever type of connection. This is a very powerful and very destined connection. They've been changing. They've been transforming. But they've also acknowledged your change and your transformation. You have emerged someone completely different in their eyes. And I feel like this has triggered them. This has helped them to also do their work. To also heal themselves. And they've learned to love themselves. They've learned their worth, their value through this process. 
we have balance here. And that was one of the main things they needed to learn was to find balance, find equilibrium. You have to be, you know, balanced in order to take action, in order to really make any type of decision to go in any direction. You have to find balance within yourself first. And remember that 87 and 14 when it first came out, I was telling you that that was 11 and this is that person, you know, and how they feel about you is you, you restore the balance, you bring that sense of harmony and joy. I feel you have angels. There's a lot of angels that could be conspiring behind the scenes, bringing this connection into fruition. They strongly feel you are intuitive, you're psychic, and you trust your intuition. So let's tap in. Thank you, spirit. So this person, why is 26? Love partnership and meditate and contemplate here. And it says firm foundation. That's four. So this gives me not only the four, the chakra, the heart chakra, but it also gives me like the four of wands. So this is someone that sees you as their twin. This is someone that sees you as that one that got away. This is someone that knows that with you they could build. They know that you are very grounded, very balanced, very much in alignment. But more importantly, it's like they know that you've been through the thick of it and you have braved your light. You're not someone who will fold easily. It's like they know that you stand for something. You 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 like they they does they desire that type of connection with someone, someone who's fearless, who's wise. Because they're thinking about forever. You know, they're not just thinking about having fun right now. This is someone that definitely is thinking about you know, always and forever. I'm hearing that in my mind's eye. Uh, 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 uh. How does that go? It's like a dream to me. Uh, 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 uh. Every day, loving your own special way. Mount on my heart away with a smile. Take time to tell me you really care, and we'll find tomorrow together. Something like that. I don't know. I'm making up my own words. But you know, that's what I was hearing. Always and forever. Even though this is Sirach. But that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like somebody definitely can see always and forever with you. And we got the victory. This is victories and success here. And you already had that triumphant success. So there's absolute success here. New start is coming. We're about to pull the card for that. For personal growth. New start is coming. And they're telling you that you got victories ahead. You got success ahead. And it's because you made it to the t mountaintop. You know what I'm talking about? Like you went through all of that. Look at the mountain. You you climbed all the way to the top of the mountain to achieve that goal, you know. And you did it alone. You 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 fought alone. And we have Shabba Ranks. This is called House Call. Your body can't lie to me. Yeah, so someone definitely is feeling, you know, communicating with you telepathically, intuitively, dreaming of you. So let's see, why is um, personal growth here, new start is coming here in the, what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios may have a message of love and light. What did I say? Destiny type of love. Someone that's destined to be in your life. This is someone that is going to feel, you know, like a very harmonious connection. Yeah, this is definitely like that, that person that, you know, you, you have... You may have been calling them and they've been calling you in, but this is a wish fulfillment. It's destined. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is a time of, of fortune and fame and success and wish fulfillment and blessings and miracles. See that? Look at that. Foundations and achievements. You've achieved major goals just by completing those cycles, cutting those cords, breaking those yokes, changing yourselves, your minds. That that completion of that cycle is why all of this amazing Amazing blessings are coming in. 
with that foundation and achievement and then you have firm foundation so it's like you're establishing something very solid very firm you're not going to have some old weak you know tower moment again this is like you are really cultivating planting seeds planting a nucleus with someone and it will remain very firm very very um grounded very powerful connection and this is about family you know this is about family this is about that that compromise this is about being supported and supporting your partner this is love it's built on love this foundation is rooted in love built in love that's powerful why is nine completion take time to breathe out here for the outcome for my beautiful scorpios we have a message of love and a message of light thank you spirit And we have on the bottom of the deck, someone's discontent and bored. And that's number four. That could be a divine masculine or a feminine who's just sitting around trying to wait for the signs and the synchronicities. And as you can see, spirit has given them signs and synchronicities. You know, if you look down here, there's like a rainbow of colors. Rainbows always represent, you know, positive changes. So all of the colors in the spectrum are... Um, associated with the chakras as well so it's really telling them that, that they got to unblock those chakras so we have this uh, patience and planning so this is about you know divine timing and everything happening in happening in divine order so someone is patiently planning this emergence this entrance into your life because this is that seven so they're finding balance within themselves we also have Fulfillment of wishes. I literally just told y'all y'all have many blessings and wish fulfillment coming in and this is because of your hard work completing these karmic cycles and lessons has Guaranteed you some success expansion. I was feeling it. It came out several times We also have disruption. So someone is having to break free, you know from from their fears you know from some sort of blockages that's why it's requiring patience because some, someone is still breaking free. You know, we got the completion card. So I do feel like there is, um, you know, wrapping up of a cycle after, um, you know, breaking themselves free. But this is the same as the tower, you know, having something that had someone feeling very bound, very stuck mentally, emotionally, physically even. We also have movements, choices, and decisions. So someone could be like in, you know, some sort of relationship or connection that's very toxic, very heavy, and they're getting out of it, you know. But it's taking, it's taking, a, um, it's requiring, I should say, uh, them to make, you know, the necessary decisions. So there's a choice. Someone has a choice. They have a decision. And then we have sacrifice. And the sacrifice is what... Uh, they'll have to do. They're going to have to sacrifice. Um, maybe that's why there was a little bit of um, concern pertaining perhaps their finances earlier. You know, just trying to figure out how to maneuver out of a situation because when you have resided with someone or cohabitated with someone, everything is interwoven and intertwined, intermingled, uh, meaning your your bills, your money, your finances. Um, you know, so th there's, there's a requirement a lot that's perhaps required for someone to get out of uh, some sort of karmic circumstance. But I feel like it's going to be positive um, because there is this completion here. So someone is still wrapping up that cycle and they will make the necessary decisions and choices uh, to move on uh, and they will sacrifice whatever it is they need to to find their peace of mind. Um, we have Donnell Jones and this is called He Won't Hurt You. So whoever this is, maybe they have fears of being hurt again. Maybe that's what's, you know, causing this, this, this uh, inner battle, you know, because this is literally like someone who's, um, you know, not really thinking clearly, you know, and allowing themselves to be manipulated uh, by that, you know, that devil energy. So we're going to clarify these messages with Clipper and then we're going to rock out. Oh, shit. So we have four. And it says courtship here. So there's definitely love in the Aya. And this is someone that's going to court you. So being courted is, is, is you know, that's, that's a fun time 
in the dating spectrum, you know, in the dating world, it's like when someone is courting you, they're showing interest, so they do thoughtful things. Uh, whether that's buy you flowers or, you know, maybe they'll have something delivered to you that you um, really enjoy. Maybe a slice of, of um, you know, cheesecake from from juniors or something like that. Just something that they know you will enjoy. Or maybe even just, you know, taking you out, you know, for a little walk or for a little night on the town. Maybe going out to eat at your favorite restaurant, watch a movie, um, maybe doing like a drive through movie, maybe finding something fun like, you know, um, going up in the mountains and renting a cabin or something just just very different. But this is someone that takes the time um, to be thoughtful to with you in mind. Um, and this is vice versa. It's not just a man courting a woman. It could be a woman who's doing the same, um, trying to, you know, just present um, just some more lighter energy you know in the dating spectrum like doing something real thoughtful you know finding out their favorite movie and 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 just having movie night with all their favorite movies you know whatever finding out their favorite food what restaurant and just you know having um a little picnic in the in the living room with candles like it could be anything someone is definitely up in their head you know thinking about something this could be a missed opportunity this could be the past uh, but someone is absolutely like heartbroken, you know, because that 31 reduces to four. That's dealing with the heart chakra. It's also four, which is the emperor. So that's a masculine energy. It could be a feminine and a masculine energy. But someone is really, um, you know, I feel like these. this is, you know, two spaces of time, you know, two different time periods. And someone is obviously like heartbroken and dealing with regrets. Uh, maybe because they missed an opportunity, they had an opportunity, or maybe there will be, you know, this opportunity that's presented again. But with he won't hurt you again, uh, maybe this is their consequence, you know, for hurting you in the past uh, because someone else might swoop up and snatch you up because you a whole snap. Uh, we got occupation here. So a lot of you all have been very diligent, working very hard. Uh, some of you all have been getting like promotions. Some of you all will be receiving new um, job offers in this new year, maybe even bonuses or pay increases. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you're very you're working very hard and I'm hearing like job protection, job security. So it's like your work uh, because of your work ethic, you are absolutely going to be just fine in your new role. You may have heard, uh, you know, that some positions are being phased out uh doing part to like the recession um but it's like you have nothing to fear because your work ethic is what's going to save you you've met your numbers your metrics whatever it is like you've met your quota and it's like your um universe is watching out for you so let's tap in beloved let's see what's coming in going out going on okay i feel good with that my spirit of love and light What's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios in 2023? They have a message of love, a message of light, my beautiful angels. So you got a bonus message too. You got a wealthy man coming in, ladies. You know, you got a wealthy man. This is someone that's coming in very intentional. They got their ish together. They're very practical, resourceful. This is a very supportive man. This is someone that will court you. This could be the type of person to take you on exotic trips, vacations. You'll see parts of the world you've never seen in your life. This is someone that will be investing in your dreams. This is someone that will spoil you rotten. That could be why you have triumph and success and rejoice and celebration. This is someone who's also gone through major change, transformation. And they're also very emotionally intelligent as well. I don't feel like they just got money to offer and that's it. I feel like this is someone who's worked very hard to achieve whatever it is that they have. But they're also very intelligent emotionally. They're also very spiritual very well traveled and I feel like they're coming in divine timing because that time please on the on on the table that clock on the table we also have bad health see that so someone is going to be living in a lot of regret and it's because this is someone who's now realizing they have to compete they have to compete this is like this is the opposite you know this is 13 this is 31 so someone is having to compete with someone who's wealthy this could be someone who's definitely suffering from regret. This could be someone who's definitely looking back 
and realizing like they they played around with your feelings when they didn't they shouldn't have because now someone else is coming and someone's recognizing how childish how immature maybe children played a factor you know what i'm talking about like someone is really feeling a lot of regret they have bad health I feel like someone's heartbroken. I keep hearing heartbroken. And it's because you're coming into a time, even if this is a feminine, they got their ish together, very successful. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like this does this person here doesn't feel like they can even measure up. Like you, you can't measure up to that. You sitting in the bed, sick as a dog, this person can, you know, just snap their finger and go wherever they want on the planet. You know, it's, it's, it's a very powerful um, energy here. And we got Nas, and this is called Don't Shoot. So somebody doesn't want someone to shoot their shot. This person's thinking of you heavily. Someone's thinking of you heavily. I feel like you got choices and options. You got two people, you know, that could, be ten could potentially be coming in. Maybe this is the same person. Maybe this is what they are. You know, but what they, they hide is the fact that they're heartbroken. Maybe they've worked very hard on their finances. Maybe that could have been the thing that came in between the connection was they could have been like, you know, a workaholic. You know what I'm talking about? And But they, you know, are very unsatisfied or dissatisfied um, emotionally in love. You know, so this person could be on the flip side, you know, suffering from heartache and loss and pain. But they may present to the world like, you know, they got their ish together. You know, but this is also someone I feel like, you know, they, they have everything they want but love. You know, it's like they have everything they want but love. And so maybe this is someone who has their eye on you, potentially. They have their eye on you. It's very interesting that these cards are in, you know, this is like interchangeable, 13, 31. So I feel like that's the same person with that four, you know. Let's tap in. So... Heavy, heavy thoughts, we already knew that because they was like ruminating and pining and overthinking. But they can get you off of their mind, whether it's feminine or masculine. Definitely thinking of you. I see the letters C and M. So someone could have those letters in their name, first, middle, or last. And with don't shoot, I feel like that was that same person that didn't, you know, take action. They didn't shoot their shot and that's why you walked away. You know, but they may potentially want a new start, a new chance, a new opportunity at this, a new crack at this, I just heard. Yep. Look at this marriage. Someone is not playing with their feelings. This is what they feel. They want They want to marry you. They want to lock you down. They hoping somebody doesn't shoot their shot. So maybe this is two different people. You know, they're hoping someone doesn't shoot their shot because look, what did I say? You are absolutely a catch. Whether you are masculine or feminine, you've been doing your work. You've been doing your due diligence. So they will take action. They will shoot you that letter, send that phone, uh, send that uh, text message, call you on the phone. Uh, you know, they'll send that that line of communication eventually. This is that person that was definitely like up in their head with how to do this, the strategy behind it. We have sudden wealth. So you all are coming into very prosperous time. Like I said, wish fulfillment, blessings. There's something coming in and it's for you because of your hard work and effort. And it's coming in divine timing and in divine order. And it's because you've earned it. Some of you all may just play. Look at these cards that are here. I can't. Look at this. Unexpected income. This came out in the form of reading. And this is unexpected. This is what's hidden in the energy. You all don't know that there's some sudden wealth, some unexpected income coming. This is destined. This is fortune, fame. This is recognition. This is a blessing. And spirit is, is, is saying it's because of the growth. It's because of the work that you've done on the self. This is what's coming to you guys because you've done the work. I felt that in the beginning of the reading. I felt it. And spirit is confirming that. And it's no doubt about it that it's you because you have sudden wealth here. So you all have earned this. This new start is going to be very prosperous. Very fortunate. This is double confirmation. Remember I saw 777 right in the beginning of, you know, on the um, New Year's Eve. 
And whenever I see those messages, I always feel like that's not just a message for me. I feel like it's for the Scorpio Collective and Spirit always, you know, when it's meant for y'all, I post it. You know, when I feel like this is a message that I should impart to the to the the, uh, the collective, I, I post it. I don't post everything because sometimes I know, oh, that's just my message. That's for me. But in those instances where spirit is like post that on YouTube, I do because I feel like that's this is deeper than just me. It's it's the whole and you all have been doing your work. We have Philly Bailey and it's called Children of the Ghetto. So I just feel like you all have come from some very humble beginnings. You know, humble is, I'm hearing humble is an understatement. Like a lot of you all have, you know, ascended to the seven. You know, like I said earlier, like it's like an elevator. You went from the root, the root chakra, which is the base, the basement, all the way up to the crown. So that shows spiritual strength. That shows wise dome. And knowledge is not, you know, power unless you apply it. It's the application. Wisdom is becomes the application of the knowledge obtained. And I feel like it was destined, always destined for you to go on this journey, for you to learn these lessons, for you to experience these experiences. And because you did so with such poise, it's like you, you got blessings upon blessings coming in, beloved. And you have marriage in your near future. Because the outcome I'm about to pull says marriage and your community your angels, ancestors, they are the ones conspiring behind the scene. That 39 is 12. That breaks down to 3. 3 is the number of the ascended masters. So you have serious angels and guides that are here assisting you and guiding you. Whomever you are dealing with, they are wrapping up a cycle. There's been many tower moments, which are endings. But every ending denotes a new beginning. And that's why spirit is telling you like something's come full circle, whether within yourself, your circumstance or in the person that you could be attracting. And that's why we have take time to breathe out, because you do have to take that time to find that equilibrium, that balance to find, you know, the the, um, you know, to ground yourselves, whatever it is that you're calling in, whatever is coming is happening in divine timing. Because someone is finally planning appropriately, you know, a strategy, wish fulfillment. This is something you've prayed for, something someone has prayed for. Someone has been trapped in an illusion and they had to break themselves free. Their spirit was being disrupted. You know, this is the seven. That seven is like associated with. You know, that devil energy, the seven deadly sins. So there could have been lust and temptation and, you know, all of those things. And someone was bound by that, stuck. They had attachments they had to rid themselves of. And so with this too, they had to make a decision. They had to make a choice to move forward, to move on. That required sacrifice. That required that time to, to move away. That 12 and that 2, that's 5. So that's learning. That's unlearning what doesn't work for you, but learning what does. Angels. Someone's angels and ancestors have been really working and conspiring behind the scenes. For destiny to come out, I do feel like this is a destiny type of love. I feel like it was written in the stars from the jump. And this is going to lead to marriage. This is the outcome. This is what's coming in. You're going to have an abundance of love. Because your hard work is paying off. Right now someone is feeling bored and discontent. But they just have to take action. They have to enact the change. They got to make that change. And they do that by first looking at the woman or the man in the mirror. You know. And they're starting to acknowledge and realize like they've been living a very comfortable lie. You know? And no, you know, no amount of money could stop the pain, you know, that they're feeling. Because remember, in the very beginning, it said um, it was Tavares. And he was saying, what was his saying? Never had a love like this before. You know? And that's a revelation when somebody's sitting in the bed like, damn, I never had a love like that Scorpio before. And they're finally going to express that to you because remember we had 
the sword triumphant success. They're finally going to let that let that thing go. They're going to let that email fly. They're going to let that letter drop in the mailbox. They're going to let that text message go. Like they're going to call. They're going to send the signal. You know what I'm talking about? Like they're already communicating with you telepathically. I guarantee you y'all have been picking up on someone from your past's energy for the past couple of months. And it's because they've been very heavily thinking about you. And so they're getting so frustrated and so stuck in this mental, you know, conflict that it's like they need to finally just say what they need to say. You know, that fear. Remember, we saw trapped in fear. And that's literally what I was picking up. Like somebody is afraid, afraid. Last reading, I was picking up nervous. And now this time it's like they are they a little they a little shook. You know, they're a little shook. We got Bob Marley, Misty Morning. You know, Misty Morning. So this person could definitely be like, you know, very gloomy. Looking like this. You know, this is the type of energy right here. You know, where it's just like just very bored. You know, it's very gloomy. But they're trying to manifest you back, I tell you that. They're working very hard to manifest you back into their lives. This is a powerful reading. Y'all got some money coming. Y'all got some blessings coming. Y'all might be signing some new contracts this year that's going like maybe you'll get a loan for a business or maybe a grant for a business. Maybe some of y'all are going to hear about some sort of, um, you know, uh, funds that you wasn't even expecting. Like I just get a sense of like, you know, some of these blessings are coming and it has nothing to do with what they're saying, but everything to do with the divine just blessing you. Like, there's unexpected blessings coming from across the board. You got sudden wealth, unexpected income. You got fulfillment of wishes. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it, it don't get no better than that, beloveds. And you got destiny, which is like the wheel of fortune. So there's positive t changes of events taking place, Scorpios. I absolutely love this reading. And this is what you have to look forward to. So thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. Hope the message has resonated. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe to you. Peace, love, and light, y'all.